Hello, Masak Universe, and welcome to part 8 of the Europa League jersey review. We are more than halfway through. We saw quite some interesting groups, and I have to say now, some groups are coming where it is kind of difficult to find all the jerseys, but not for this group I actually managed. I'm wearing Bulgaria, since the Bulgarian champions are in this group. Other than that, it's a quite eclectic group, I have to say. Uh, very Eastern, except for one. We'll get to that one. But we'll start all the way out in the East with uh, CSK in Moscow, um, who are the seeded team in this group. Um, and yeah, they are since last season with Umbro, we saw them in the Champions League. Now Umbro gave them actually quite an interesting jersey. I have to say, the more I look at it, the more I like it. I mean, it's your plain red jersey with a little bit blue accents. Uh, note the um, ghosted uh, Umbro band at the sleeve cuffs that I find interesting. But around the crest, I first thought these are Umbro diamonds, but if you look closer, this is just a radiating star reflecting the star from the crest. I mean, CSK was, of course, the army team in Soviet times. So uh, it makes sense. I just realized that the crest also has this weird soccer ball that I do not like. That should be changed, CSK, CSK. Um but other than that, I actually think this is a pretty cool looking jersey. I mean, uh, they're not playing cool in it. Uh, that's a different story. But the jersey itself has quite some nice touches. Uh, even down to the sponsor, which of course is Cyrillic. I'm not sure if they write in the Europa League in Latin. Uh, we'll have to check in it if they do down here. I think it's an 8-star jersey. I really like this one. Uh, why not higher? Yeah, I wish that the color would go all the way around. You know, all those little things, you know, I'm not always down with the modern color design. Uh, the away jersey is almost an exact... Re no, it's not really reversal. I mean, it's, you switch red for blue, um, more or less. You still have the star pattern in there. Um, the collar is a little bit more prominent and it's very much like the Puma collars that uh, we saw at the last World Cup, which I do not necessarily like, especially this red here I would like to go around. I mean, there's a little bit of a Russian flag hinted there. Or is it the Serbian flag? I mean, nowadays you are not sure. Actually, the red is on top. How dare they? Uh, but yeah, it's... I like the home jersey better, let's put it that way, although there's not too much difference between it, but I think I like the home jersey better for that. I only give this six stars. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more red in there. On to the Bulgarian champions, Ludo Gores from a small town of Razgrad. Still hard for me to believe. They switched now to Nike and they get a classic Nike template uh, done with the button shirt. It's kind of somewhere caught between 2018-2016. This template, uh, it has dragon sleeves, but you know, it's all blue. There's a slight patterning in there, which is from the template and not particular to Ludo Goretz. Um, the sponsor is very much Ludo Goretz. It's a Bel Bulgarian company that when you're in Bulgaria, you see them everywhere. Uh, crest fits in there. It's all okay, but it's not an exciting in any way, uh, shape or form. An outstanding jersey, I think six stars, and we're done with that one. The away jersey, uh, same thing, but with black accents. I actually wish there was some green here. Other than that, it's the exact same template, exact same jersey, just slap a crest on it. I really wish there should be a little bit more green on there. For that, only five stars. And then they have a third jersey, which actually was worn to Espanol uh, versus Espanol away, where I actually see that it can make sense to have this one. But if you see the white one, the gray one, not too much difference. There's one difference. Look at the color. Uh, this doesn't have the... It's a v-neck. It doesn't have anything around. But other than that, again, great jersey, black accents. There's no green in that. This is... Uh, well, it goes more or less... I like it less than the white one uh, since it's gray. But I feel it would be too harsh to drop it down even more uh, for that. It's kind of a five star minus a little five star or whatever. So yeah. Uh, not an exciting jersey overall. Uh, speaking of exciting, uh, if you watch my La Liga jersey review, I put Espanol in there. Um, not realizing that they will have a completely new sponsor, thanks to the Chinese player. Chinese company LD picked it up, LD Sports. And now we have, instead of um, Riviera Maya, which I loved, 
we have this weird D with a lot of Chinese letters and so on on there. Let me first have said, I actually, way back, I took for one year Chinese classes and I actually am fascinated by Chinese letters. But why do the sponsors on soccer jerseys always have to put their Chinese letters on there? Same thing with the Crystal Palace shirt I got recently. Um, it, it's nice, but then there are some Chinese letters on there. Same thing here. I actually like that the sponsor is in blue and white. It fits with Espanol. Um, I also like, I think, this, uh, the, all the patterning in there. There's a lot of things to like about this jersey. But if it's just the LD, it is fine. Don't put this Chinese and then another LD sports. That's too much. Absolutely. I gave this jersey my initial review seven stars, and I think uh, that would be fine. Um, I just think that the sponsor develops the jersey enough that I have to... I'm almost thinking regrading. I think I will barely keep it at seven stars. It's similar to the great jersey or jersey before. It doesn't look good. Um, on the away jersey, the green one, um, they do actually something cool. <laughs> they, they keep the green shield and make the white sponsor, make a sponsor unicolored on there. That is cool. Am I happy with the green jersey? Not so much, especially I don't under understand the different widths for the white and the uh, blue, but overall I think it's okay looking. I gave it seven stars. I will stick with it. Um, however, it really does not work for me on the third jersey. The third jersey by itself already doesn't work for me. Uh, it's just a color mess. Uh, salmon shoulders, then a cream colored torso and then on the bottom black and then you have the full colored crest which again i love full colored color color crest but it just gets too much with the colors and then here on the sleeve uh cuffs you have the blue and white the club's colors and then the sponsor in a whole monstrosity here the sponsor makes it really 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 worse uh a kit that was already bad gets worse and here i'm really downgrading it to three stars now, the final team in this group is Ferenc Varos from Budapest. The green and whites, who like the green and whites from Austria, Rapid chose with a hooped look, but uh, went with a hooped look, but uh, with a slight twist. Actually, it is a very uneven hooped look, and then they have even the color uh, in darker green, which. <laughs> For me, Ferenc Varos, if you ask me to draw up a classic Ferenc Varos shirt, it would be. Um, uh, stripes not hoops. I'm okay with the hoops, but I'm not so much okay with the, how they're done here. I mean you have the big green on top, then you have a big white band to house the crest and the logo, then another even wider one to house the sponsor, and then you go start with the small loops. It creates a very very uneven look and if you squint it, it kind of feels like the jersey is disintegrating towards the bottom. <sighs> I understand. I mean, it's nice that they do this, but make it all big hoops or, you know, alternate the big green with the slimmer white one. I think that would make for a much nicer jersey. If you need to go with all hoops like that, then, yeah, I guess you have to make a green box around the telecom sponsor. I'm sorry to say it's just not a great look uh, by itself. And for that reason, yeah. I'm afraid this is only four stars. The colors are right, everything else is all right, but it just the execution is not. Um, given that this is the 120th year of the founding, they also released an away jersey that is white with gold, which I let them get away with this one this time. The jersey is nothing exciting. It's very much like the Ferenc Varsh shirt, uh, not Ferenc Varsh, uh, Ludogorets shirt that we saw before. Um, you know, white gold applications. Yeah, nice. Not very Ferenc Varosh, but it is all right. It's not an exciting shirt. I'm sure if I was a fan, I would go. I would try to get it because gold. You need to celebrate that. But overall, six stars. Looks more Real Madrid to 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 be honest. And in the Europa League, they also played with a third jersey in gray. Why gray again? Gray and black. Uh, it's a little bit messy. I mean, you have full colored crest on that one. Um, the gray, uh, you have a light gray torso and then uh, dark gray shoulders. And to top it off, you have mint green <laughs> sponsor. Uh, and then another green. It's too messy. 
it's too messy and I already don't like the color, so only three stars for that one. And yeah, this finishes uh, this group. Uh, let me know which churches you liked and which ones you disliked in this group, um, whether you agree with my assessment or not. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon with part 9. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!